Hey friends, I am tasked with this unbelievable question or quest to find the best barbecue in Disney World. I've always believed, hands down, Flame Tree Barbecue is the best. But every time I bring it up, man, I say, hey, Flame Tree Barbecue is the best, someone always tells me, have you tried Polite Pig? And I never have. So today, I'm gonna find out what's better, Polite Pig or Flame Tree Barbecue. Let's go do this. So we are at the Polite Pig. Like I said, this is all about best barbecue oh, in Disney World. Have you had Flame Tree Barbecue? I have not. You have? No, okay, no. so this is your starting point. This, this is the start of it. Yep, I have had, had Flame Tree Barbecue. <laughs> so I'm comparing this to Flame Tree Barbecue. So you can be the judge on if it's good or not. Yeah, because every time I mention like best barbecue, I say Flame Tree. And then someone says, what about Polite Pig? So now, we're gonna find out. Oh, we're gonna find out because we have literally everything on the menu. We ordered. Way. We ordered everything. <laughs> this is my friend Brandon, by the way. We'll make sure to put his channel in the blog or in the description below, so you can check it out for yourself. Because he is in the Disney College Bar. Oh, you know it. <laughs> All right, let's see. I love how they have the little pig feet walking around inside on the floor. That is something amazing. They have lots and lots of options here. And lots of options of alcohol too. Look at all those taps in the back. We're gonna get some uh, in-house brews as well. Like Brandon said, we got everything because on or from the smoker itself, you can get a half chicken, salmon, pork shoulder, brisket, ribs, and sausage. Or you can just get the butcher board, which has everything except for the ribs, but we ordered the ribs as well. <laughs> so you get the butcher board, it comes with everything, and then it comes with two pieces of cornbread, and then two, uh, what you call it, sides, and it's $39. But we also ordered those ribs, which also come with one side. So we're gonna have three sides, three cornbread, and a big board of meats. <laughs> We also got some pretty fancy craft beer here. Uh, first is the Ravenish Pig Saison, which is right here. Very light beer, Belgium style, farmhouse, farmhouse ale. This is the Saison. Oh, it's really good. I like it. The Saison. 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 <laughs> Okay, the food has arrived, and this is a lot. Holy moly, this is a lot. We got crispy Brussels sprouts, coleslaw, jalapeno cheddar cornbread, a full rack of ribs, another side of coleslaw, two more cornbread jalapeno, <laughs> baked beans, pork shoulder, cheese sausage, beef brisket, chicken, Sweet potato tots, two pickles, and another side of coleslaw. <laughs> Are you up for the challenge? I'm ready. I'll all right. Well, I already ate today, so it's all you. It's on me. <laughs> it's all you. Just go ahead. Enjoy. Thank yeah, you. everything. Everything has to be gone. Wait, before we eat, we gotta get the barbecue. They do have a sauce bar here. Little John's signature porter sauce, Layla's sweet sauce, Thomas Southern Gold, and Barbecue Ranch. I think we'll try one of each. We got our sauces lined up. I don't know what to attack first. I really don't. So, 
Brandon already went in for the brisket and the sausage. I think I'll do the same thing. We're starting off with brisket and sausage. You know what is really hard to get something off a fork when you're only using one hand? <laughs> sausage. Do you see that? Did you see me shaking? Like, come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, the sausage is flaked and covered with cheese and it's got a really salty taste, but overall, I mean, it's okay. Yeah. I wouldn't rank it really high on the sausage level, but no. I mean, it's not horrible. It's definitely not horrible. No, it's not horrible, but there'd probably be other things that I would get first. Yeah. Okay, the brisket is amazing. I can literally taste that like burntness on the side of it and then just sweet meat. Sweet meat. <laughs> I love it. Oh yes. Sweet meat. Wow. Well, I'm gonna he already you already tried the pork shoulder, so I might as well dive in. Jiggle jiggle jiggle. <laughs> Can you cut my food for me? No. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Oh wait, I'm just going this way. Put it very simple. You don't even need to put sauce on that pork shoulder. No. It is unbelievable. Wow. I'm sorry to say it, but the pork shoulder alone has already made up my mind that I think polite pig might be better than plain tree barbecue. But I think the ribs are gonna be the big determining factor. I mean the ribs are a make or break deal, so when I get to those. That's when I'll make my final decision and my final choice, which one I think is the best barbecue. All right, so before we get to the ribs and chicken, I wanna try the sides. I don't like coleslaw, so I'm gonna get a crispy Brussels sprout. I'm gonna dab that off there. Boom. Some sweet potato tots. And then of course, some of these baked beans. Oh yes and maybe a cornbread muffin. How's the coleslaw? It's very good. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, um, take Brandon's word it's, for it's it. It's a staple barbecue, you have to have it. I don't like coleslaw. <laughs> it's very good. It's not a coleslaw connoisseur. <laughs> but you know, I should have got some Bud Light with these baked beans. <laughs> Bud Light, baked beans, go to well, good together. The baked beans are actually really delicious. <laughs> Yep, and the Brussels sprouts have like a candy crunchy outside, but then like that bitterness of Brussels sprouts on the inside. And I'm not making that up, that's exactly how the lady up front described them to me. So I'm just repeating what she said, and then I tried and I said, you know what? She's right. They are delicious though. Probably the best Brussels sprouts I've ever had. Normally, I hate Brussels sprouts. I hate them so much. If my mom saw me right now eating Brussels sprouts, she'd be so proud of me. But Aww. They're, they're really good. Mom, he's eating Brussels sprouts. <laughs> yeah! See? Eating his vegetables. Now the sweet potato tots. Have you tried those? Yeah. You like them? Yeah. Oh, I like mine. And they got like Parmesan cheese mm -hmm. sprinkled on top of it. Very interesting, very good. Not crispy. No. Kind of like soft, yeah, right? Yeah. Not crispy though, not it's like not a regular like, tot. It's not what you would expect from like a tater tot, but yeah. it tastes pretty good. Yeah, they do taste pretty good. Now for this cornbread. Oh boy. It's good. Mm-hmm. Not much jalapeno. I taste more cornbread than jalapeno, so that's a good thing. But I do like it. We ripped the chicken in half. I'm gonna take the breast, it looks like, and Brandon's got the thigh and the leg. So, oh, this looks really good though. You can see like the caramelization of the barbecue actually on it. Well, there's no barbecue on it, but you can just see it like smoked. Smoked very well. 
The chicken is really good. I don't know if it's because I got the breast, but mine was a little dry, but once I dipped it in barbecue sauce, very good, great smoky flavor. How was the dark meat? Was that dry or no? No, yeah, it was, it, I didn't think it was very dry at all. Oh, okay, so good. it was yeah. probably just because I got the breast, the white meat part. Yeah. I enjoyed it a lot though, the chicken was good. We're trying to figure out what is on top of these fancy baked beans? Because they're good, right? You like yeah, them? They're good. But we don't know what these, what this is. I mean, it's obviously something fancy. It looks like pressed up cheese doodles. <laughs> Doesn't it look like they took yeah. a cheese door and was like, come on. I gotta ask someone to find out. Yeah. We asked, and it is pico breading, not cheese puffs, unfortunately. I wish it was cheese puffs. But cheese puffs does sound pretty <laughs> interesting on baked beans. Definitely have to try that next time. I've tried everything except for the ribs so far. And now I got myself another beer, and this is the Working Man Porter, which uh, is very dark. So I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, I say. It's rip time. There you go. That one's for you. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at those ribs. Are you going sauce or no sauce? I think there's sauce on it already. Do you think? Oh, maybe there is. I gotta check this out. The ribs are really, really good. The only thing I don't like is they're not like pull apart. Like the bone, the, the meat doesn't fall off the bone. Mm -hmm. But neither does Flame Tree Barbecue. So, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to let it sit in my stomach just a little bit longer to figure out which ones are better. It's nice that they give us this fresh snap. I need it. Can't vlog without the fresh nap. You need the fresh nap. <laughs> you cannot vlog without the fresh nap. How's that cornbread? Oh, it's amazing. Take I a love, bite. I love this one. We ate all the food except for just a little bit of tots, one piece of sausage left, and the two cold sauce. Everything else, done. It's all done. I can't even believe it. Should we be proud of ourselves or should we see a doctor? Like, I don't know. I don't know how to approach this. Yeah, like, I don't I know. Can't move. I gotta go to work. Oh, he's gotta go to work now. Oh. It's a Halloween party. Oh, it's a Halloween party too. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we are done. You definitely felt like you gained uh, some pounds. I, I, I feel like I gained probably 20 pounds doing this. Yes. Starting with you. <laughs> it was amazing though. Uh, the verdict for best barbecue comes to the polite pig. They are the winner. Because I feel like the ribs taste just like plain tree barbecue and the beans. I feel like they're the same as if they're made together. But yeah. the pork shoulder won it all. So, love the life you live. Live the life you love.